Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Mike here from Tradewinds RV Center. We're going to be doing a walkthrough on your Jayco 321 RSTS. This has the More Ride pin box. Here's your safety breakaway cable and docking light for hitching. It's a light on the back side there. You have switches here for your accent lights on the front of the coach. Both of your batteries wired in there. Two HD24s. Here's your bedroom slide out. This is a Schwintech slide out. This has an aluminum gear rack. This never gets lubricated. What you do want to lubricate is your wiper seals here on the top and bottom and sides. You want to use a rubber seal conditioner with UV protection. You carry that here in the store. Here's your 30 pound propane tank with your auto changeover regulator. You just point the lever there at the line you want to draw from. So we're pointing at this tank. We flipped it the opposite way. We could draw from the opposite tank. Here's your convenience pack and all your hoses. Here is your battery disconnect in your auto level control board. So you tap both of these arrows here at the same time. And it gives you a green light. And then you can just hit auto level to auto level the unit where you can hit retract all to retract all your jacks to hook up. When auto leveling, the light will blink green to let you know that the system's operating. If you get an error code, you can follow this LED indicator. It will tell you to refer to the touchpad if there is an error on the inside. What's neat about these units here is that they have their own bypass valve, so no longer opening up access panels to get to the valves. You just turn this valve right here and it does all the work for you. So normal mode will allow you to fill the tank, bypass, bypasses its tank. You have a hook up there for your blue shower hose on the outside. And up in the corner you have your solar prep. Here is your color coordinated diagram that you follow for your water system. On the left you have your sanitize and winterize inlet. On the right you have your city water connection. And you actually fill the tank, the fresh water tank, through the city water connection. You just put it on tank fill and it will route the water right to the tank. This also has a flush for the black and gray system. So what you need to do is hook up your dump outlet to a proper dump station and then open and evacuate all the tanks. And then you can leave these valves open, hook up to this black sprayer, turn the line on and it pressurizes the sprayer, rinse off the tank walls and sensors and immediately evacuates anything that's left inside the holding tanks. And in here we have your Dometic water heater. This is a six gallon water heater. This is gas and electric, all controlled by a switch on the inside of the unit. Here's your furnace exhaust. Here's your 50 amp power cord. Gives you an LED indicator to let you know you're plugged into sure power. This is a 36 foot cord. Here we have your kitchen slide out, which is another Schwintec system. Just remember not to lubricate that gear rack and always use rubber seal conditioner on those wiper seals top, bottoms, and sides. And while you're at it, if you have thought about waxing your unit, we do offer a paint protection that is good for five years. It's a ceramic coating that we spray on with a hydro foamer and it beads into the fiberglass, fills any imperfections. If you're interested in something like that, talk to your salesperson or our finance manager. And here below we have a low point drain for your refrigerator to drain all the water out of your refrigerator because it has an ice maker. Here is your drain for your fresh water tank and your overflows for that tank. We have your ladder. This is backup camera ready with reverse tail lights and LED bar on the top. 
Here's your spare tire crank, three quarter inch socket. The spare is located directly underneath. Here we have a regular slide out here with a gear rack. Always make sure you lubricate that and once again, make sure those seals are good. You have a dual awning, so one on your slide out with LED strip. This is a Solera awning, it's a power awning. You have the more ride steps, the four step with the grab handle. Here's a light switch, accent light underneath your steps there. Outdoor speakers. This little guy here is the temperature sensor for the outside. You have those throughout the interior of the unit as well. This just helps regulate that temperature so you can properly and efficiently cool and heat the unit. This is a spray port so you have water access on the opposite side of the unit. Maybe so you can rinse off the steps. You have a set of true low plane drains here. These are for your hot and cold water lines to help depressurize water lines and winterizing. Just check valves on there. You have cable TV, 110 outlets on the outside. It's a tire gauge, another speaker, and a 110 outlet here. And I think that about covers the exterior. Make sure you get up on that roof and check, inspect your seals at least twice a year. I always do uh, once before closing up and once at the beginning of the season. Make sure that those seals are not cracked or any dry rot or any significant damage to them. You can also use a rubber uh, roof wash and conditioner every year to help maintain the rubber on the unit. And it also comes with a UV blocker that is just adding preventative maintenance to your seals. That way you don't have to have them checked so much and cleaned and maintained and we're gonna head inside the unit so heading into the unit another temperature sensor here this is your fan control for your ceiling fan there fire extinguisher is always located by the door here is your BM Pro control panel and we'll show you how to operate the slides and the awnings. So A1 is gonna mean awning one, just extend and retract here. A2 is your secondary awning on your main slide. And we have slide one, which is the bedroom slide out. Slide two, which is your kitchen slide out. And slide three is your off door side slide out. And just remember, extend and retract. And then we have your home. Here is your water system control. Here's your water pump, electric water heater, and gas. I'll turn that gas off there. Oh. And it gives you your tank levels. And now we'll move down to your motors. You can operate your leveling system here. Auto level retract all and manually control all the jacks. And you can control all your slide motors and awning motors from here as well. Extend and retract all right there for you. And we have your thermostats. For your ACs, this is your main. This will control your main AC here and your furnace. So you have to turn this on. There's a blue uh, light around it. And then you can go in here to cool auto, this drop bar, and it gives you the option to put it on cool, cool auto, fan, and heat. This is the only way you can activate the furnace is through the main AC. And then you can scroll down and do the secondary AC for the bedroom. And this is just going to be AC. You're not going to be able to go in here and operate heat or anything like that. Just AC and fan. And you can set your fan speeds as well. And we'll move on to your lighting. So you got this drop bar here. You can scroll and dim almost every light. And then you can check your tire pressure. Sensors have not been paired yet and your battery and fuel level. This does not have any fuel, so just battery. And you have a quick select button here for all your lights to turn them on and off. Here we have this little charge center that pops out. It's got 110 receptacles and a 12 volt plug-in. Push that little tab there, it goes back down, locks in place. Here we have your Whirlpool refrigerator with water filter and Here we have your water and ice maker. This has the option to make fast ice. As you can see, we got some ice cubes in there already. It takes about an hour to make ice. And there is some valves for that, which I'll be showing you in a later video. Here is your stovetop. This has a built-in igniter here. 
So the top three controls here for the stovetop, and this is for your oven control. You have accent lighting, and you have this switch here almost everywhere around the unit. You will have control of the ceiling lights, pendants, dinette, and all exterior lights. Plenty of storage drawers. We have a Furion 50 inch TV with the stereo Bluetooth DVD combination. Here is your Furion fireplace. You have 12 volt plug ins and 110 receptacles on each side of the sofa back there. Here's your Stacy Stewart recliners with heated LED strips and massagers built in, and a 12 volt USB plug in for your cell phones. Here's your dinette booth. And you have some more switches here for all the lighting. This unit also has pleated shades. And this is your converter down here with your 110 breakers and 12 volt fuses, your LP and carbon monoxide detector. This also has a standard smoke detector with a 9 volt battery on the ceiling. And this has the Whisper Quiet AC in the main area. Shared ducting with the main and secondary ACs. This has a nice dual foam shower surround, accent lighting, AC ducting, fan, porcelain toilet with the side flush, a nice vanity with LED lighting around it. This unit also comes equipped with a Xantrax inverter, power inverter, to convert that 12 volt battery power to 110 to run that refrigerator while traveling. Here is your 12 volt charge center with USB hookup. We have another Furion TV, 12 volt plug in, 110 cable hookup. Here we have another temperature sensor in this all but familiar switch. Reading lights. We have latches for your closet doors here. This is pre prep for a washer and dryer hookup. This is for a washer and dryer combination. 110 receptacles on each corner of the bed down on the bottom there. And that about does it for the interior of the unit. This is already solar prepped, so right here it's given us a reading of 14.2 .2 volts, two batteries charging. And that about does it for the interior.